everyone, my name is Brittany Loves Reading and thanks for joining me for another themed reading vlog. This week is rom com -athon. I'm so excited. It is hosted by Michelle from Michelle Libraries and Aoife from Pretty Purple Polka Dots. They're tagged down below. It, I'm sure if you are here, you know who they are, but if not, go check them out. So they are doing a rom-con inspired readathon all week long. And I do read a little bit of romance. It's probably one of my least read genres until recently where I kind of started to want to read romance again um, and pick it up, but I don't read a lot of it. So I am participating and I'm very excited to jump into the four books that I chose for this week. Um, the first one that I've got on my TBR is a favorite on Book Talk, BookTube, Bookstagram. It's everywhere. And it is The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. I have not read this yet and I'm excited to read it. I know it is a fake dating romance, which I do tend to enjoy, even though fake dating never happens in real life, but in books, it's great and fabulous. So I'm excited to read this. I am gonna start with this because it is the biggest book on my TBR. Um, this follows Olive. She is a PhD student and she has a fake dating relationship with her professor. That is really all I know about this and I'm not going to give a huge synopsis on the love hypothesis because at this point, I think everybody has heard of this book. Um, I'm probably one of the last people in the world to read this book. So that is the one I'm going to start with. Again, it is the biggest book on my TBR, so I'm gonna start here. I'm also going to be reading an arc that I have, Dreams of Magpie Co by Kennedy Kerr. I read a book by her last year, loved it, got the arc for this book. This is already out, but I have the arc from Neck Alley and I do want to read this. And it is a romance book. So I thought this is the perfect week to do this book. Also, India's from India Reads is, her Patreon has a book club every month. And this month's pick was Nick and Charlie by Alice Oseman. So perfect. It's like a two hour audio book, which I'm gonna do it as audio, uh, Scribd has the audio. So that is also on my list for this week. I love Heartstopper, so perfect. The last book I'm gonna be reading is the group book for this readathon, which is Tessa Bailey's My Killer Vacation. Now I will say, this is the, basically the only time I'm going to be mentioning this in this vlog because I am adding this to a future vlog that you'll be seeing in a couple of weeks. But just know that I am reading it for rom com because it is the group book. But in this vlog, you're not gonna see much of this and look forward to a later uh, author spotlight vlog for everything about this book. But I am reading it this week, so I did wanna mention it. But again, in this vlog, all you're gonna see is Dreams for Meg by Cove, Nick and Charlie, and it's the love hypothesis. So that's really all I have to say at this point because I haven't read anything. So let's dive into the love hypothesis and see if I can love it as much as basically everyone else in the world does. So let's go. <laughs> Friday of rom com -athon, and I am failing at this readathon, but there is still three more days and I'm going to turn it around. Last, well, yesterday afternoon, I finished The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. This is the first book that I finished and yes, I finished it on Thursday. Like I said, I'm failing at rom com -athon, but I have three days and three more books to read, so 
two for this vlog and the Tessa Bailey one for another vlog. And I'm halfway through the Tessa Bailey one, but I still have a lot of reading to do. But today, again, we're going to turn it around. I really enjoyed the love hypothesis. I ended up giving it four stars. I really liked this. I loved the women in STEM um, parts of this book. I loved uh, Adam and Olive. I thought they were such a cute pair. Um, and I loved all the friends in this too. Like, like it was just an interesting group of people in this book that I really liked. It's a cute read. I, again, I really loved it. Four stars. I don't have much of like a critique of this book because there was nothing really wrong with it. I I really enjoyed it. I don't give a lot of romance five stars. They have to really make me just like super cozy and happy. And so four stars for me for a romance is a really good score. So I was nervous I wasn't going to like this because I know this is a well-loved book on booktube and booktalk and bookstagram. So I'm happy that I can say that I really did enjoy The Love Hypothesis and I would definitely pick up another Allie Hazelwood book. I know she has a new book either just newly out or coming out really soon. So I'm definitely gonna keep my eye out for that because I would definitely read more from Allie Hazelwood. I enjoyed that the, I felt like this made sense. Like sometimes there's always that third act breakup in romance that just drives me nuts because it doesn't make sense. In this book, the controversies in the second half of the book, they at least made sense in real world situations and I believe that they could happen. So I was okay with that in this book. I also loved that like this book knew exactly what it was. It kept referencing rom-coms in the story, knowing that it was a rom-com itself. And it was, I, I'm glad it knew that. Like it was nice to see a book kind of know what it was trying to do. So that is The Love Hypothesis, four stars from me. The next book that I'm going to be reading is an arc that I'm doing. It's Dreams of Magpie Cove. Put the picture here. This is the fourth book in a series. I reviewed the third book last year, really enjoyed it. It was like a romance with a little bit of like a women's fiction mystery element. Um, so I'm assuming this one is similar in style. So this follows Ellie and she recently had breast cancer and is just getting out of hospital for breast cancer and starting to rebuild her life in Magpie Cove. And eventually she meets the local car mechanic, auto mechanic. And I'm assuming a romance is what entails with that. So this book is already out. I, I didn't get to it before it came out, but it's recently come out. So I really enjoyed the third book. I think I gave it four stars. So I'm excited to read the, the newest book by Kennedy Kerr. So I am about to jump on sprints with Neva on her channel. We're gonna be sprinting all day today until tonight. And then tonight I'm going out uh, for dinner and I think I'm even gonna go book shopping. So today is a really busy day, but it's going to be fun. It's going to be filled with reading and book shopping and fun outings. So I'm excited for today. <laughs> It is Sunday, which is the second to last day of rom com -a -thon. It ends tomorrow officially, but I'm hoping to finish my rom com -a -thon TBR today. The last time I talked to you was Friday, right before I went on sprints with Neva, and Friday was such a fun day, and I did get some reading done, but not as much as I would have liked, and yesterday I basically didn't read anything. It was a very busy day. So... That being said, I still have to finish Dreams of Magpie Cove today. I have about 150 pages left, so I think I can. 
So on the last sprint on Friday, I ended up switching to my audiobook just because I needed to have an audiobook at the time and because I was getting ready to go out. So I switched to my audiobook, Nick and Charlie by Alice Oseman. It is a solitaire novella, so it's only an hour and 45 minutes long. So I knocked that out. This, again, it's a heartstopper novella, so it follows Nick and Charlie, and it is just so cute and I just it's just like quaint and I just love it but they also tackle some really difficult topics in the Heartstopper comic books and books and like eating disorders and various things they they cover a lot of things so this one specifically follows Nick as he is finishing his last year of high school and going off to college Charlie still has one more year of high school left and they're grappling with what that means with their relationship as they are debating doing a long term or a long distance relationship. And I just, I really enjoyed this. I gave it four stars. Um, it was a nice, really short audiobook. The audiobook was great. I, the narrators were fantastic and I just really enjoyed it. It was cute and sweet and, but still like had some substance to it. So that was great. Today, again, I'm gonna try and finish my TBR today, and I am still working on Dreams of Magpie Cove by Kennedy Kerr. It is the last book on my TBR for rom com so I am going to try and knock this out today. I have about 150 pages left, so if today goes well, it's only, I think, 11 o'clock here, so, you know, depending on real life distractions, I should be able to get this done today fingers crossed. So hopefully the next clip you see is sometime later today when you see my face talking to you again. It will be sometime later today and I will have be telling you that I finished this book. If not, something has gone wrong. But that is the plan for today and let's finish up this rom com -a -thon. This week I've definitely been slumping. I've only finished one and one book and a tiny little audio novella. So like I need to get my reading game on and try to finish rom com -a strong. Hi everyone, I finished Dreams of Magpie Cove really late last night, it was almost midnight, so I didn't really wanna come on and vlog my update. I wanted to have thoughts that were coherent when I talked to you. So um, this book was not what I was expecting. I did read one of the books in this series last year, and it definitely leaned more to a romance mystery which I really enjoyed and this book did not. This book did have a romance element in it, but it definitely wasn't the main element in the book. This one definitely fell more into the women's fiction genre and really followed Ellie as she was recuperating from her breast cancer and her mastectomy, which I did enjoy that part of the book. I really enjoyed delving in to the physical and emotional healing that she had to go through and kind of the process of that and also just like her internal thought process following something like that but I definitely wasn't expecting that from this book there was a romance in it the problem for the romance for me was it was kind of like an odd love triangle which is probably like my least favorite trope so for me it was just a miss in that regard so because I liked part of the book and I wasn't as much a fan of the other part, and also um, I would have liked a bit more character development in characters other than Ellie and basically, well, even the love interest, I don't feel like had a lot of character development. So really just Ellie. Um, I'm a big character focused reader, so I would have liked a little bit more from that end of it. So for that reason, I'm gonna end up giving this a three star for me. And that is the end of rom com -a -thon. It wasn't what I was expecting it to be, although I did finish all the books that I wanted to, so I guess it worked out. I just did them all near the light, latter half of the week. I kind of slacked at the beginning and got it together in the end. So I ended up reading The Love. I don't have the books with me, so, well, the book. I guess the other two I didn't have physical copies of. Uh, I read The Love Hypothesis, gave that four stars. It is probably, if I was gonna rank these, I would put Nick and Charlie, which I also read and gave four stars first, and then The Love Hypothesis is a really close second. And then Dreams of Magpie Cove. Again, I did Dreams of Magpie Cove as a NetGalley arc, 
but the book is already out. So if what I said, if that sounds good to you and is more up your vein of reading, definitely go check this out. It is a series and I did like book three more than I liked book four. So that is rom com -a -thon for me. I can't believe it's over. I feel like it went so fast. I also did read this week My Killer Vacation. Again, I don't have the book with me, so just, just go with it by Tessa Bailey. But you will see my full thoughts in a vlog upcoming in about two weeks. So just keep that in mind that I also read that this week, but you'll see my thoughts later. I'm sure you've heard about it by now because everyone read it this week and a lot of people had thoughts. That is everything for rom com -thon. Thank you for watching this vlog. If you've made it this far, please like and comment down below. Tell me what your favorite read from rom com -thon was if you participated and if you didn't, what your favorite read from the week was. And I'll see you soon. Bye.